Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, number 14, Expressions as Indexes, Using Variables. We can use any expression that evaluates to a number as an index in an array. Here are some examples. We have my array 2 plus 3. We have my array using a random number. And we have my array x plus 2. Do this. Starter code has been provided, which creates an array of colors. Write code that logs a random color from this list to the console by generating a value for a random index. Try to write your program using list length rather than hard coding the length of the list. Let's take a look at our code here. We have our array here colors, and it looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots right there. So we have seven things in our array bucket. And we have to write some code below here to display it in our debug console. That's my first hint. I know I need a console.log statement, so I'm going to put that up there. We're going to approach this much like we have everything else in this lesson. What are we trying to access here? We want to display a color, right? Well, the color is the colors array, so that's where I want to access my information from. I'm going to put my bracket up. And I want something between the first color and the last color. I want something random in there. So I can do random number. And if you remember the random number, if you drag this in here, you have to put your two values, right? So our random number is going to be somewhere between 0 and what? Well, they want us to use our list length here, and we well could put the actual number in. We can count over and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 different spots here. But what if we add to it? Well, if we add to it, we have to increase this random number here. So what we want to do is we just want to access the last number or last element in our colors array. What I'm going to then put is our colors.length minus 1. Then we'll have a parentheses, a bracket, a parentheses, and a semicolon. What this is saying is I want to display in the debug console something from color. If I took this off and just put console.log colors, I should get just all of the colors displayed here. Run, there's all my colors. What my code is doing here is saying, within colors, I want you to pick a random number between zero and whatever the last element is. So the minus one. This means we can add to it. We don't have to hard code a number in. We can always just increase it. That's very helpful when we're building a database and we're constantly adding to something. You don't have to count it up after each time. When I hit reset and run, it should just pick a random color. Reset, run, violet, red, red again, and yellow. Looks like our code is working like the example. It is just basically picking a spot in the index and we didn't hard code the end index in. We just left it open so we can constantly add to it as we go along. Looking back up at our do this, we looked at the starter code and then we wrote code that logs a random color from the list inside the array. And we did it using the list length so we didn't have to hard code the actual physical length of our array. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. This was a fun lesson. I'll see you on the next one.